let's talk about creating summary tasks. Now, I just have a sample project here. It's got a few tasks in it. And the problem is I don't want to have a project that let's just say has 200 tasks and no organization. So summary tasks will organize the information. As an example, I have a task here that I'd like to be a summary and I'd like it to summarize these three tasks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the three tasks underneath the summary that I've created. And the summary would just be a normal task. You just insert it as a normal task. And then if you go to the task tab along the ribbon, you would click the button called indent task. It's this little green arrow on it. Uh, you click it, it indents those tasks, and now they are summarized by the one task above it. There's other ways to do this. So let's say I'm going to select these tasks and I'd like phase two to be the summary. Well, I can simply select the tasks and then get this double headed arrow and click and hold and drag it over quickly creates the summary. Really fast way to do it. We can use that same technique to move it back or you could use the uh, outdent button, which would of course go backwards as well. Now this one, let's just say actually that this did not exist. So I'd like to insert a summary for these three tasks I have selected. So if I select those three tasks on the task tab, you can also click the insert summary button. This will also create a summary task. You could then call it whatever you'd want and you're ready to go. So lots of different ways to create summaries. For me personally, I, I've always used the indent outdent buttons. I'm starting to use that click and drag method because that is actually quite quick. So that's another way that I'm, I'm um, starting to use more and more. The last thing I want to mention as part of this is when you create a project, you should have a project summary task or most projects it's kind of useful. What an, a, a summary that outlines the entire project. Now we could insert this manually. A lot of people do that manually. The problem is it creates it as task one. So it kind of throws off my numbers ruins a bit of a, the reporting for top level tasks. So the way I will add my project summary always, and this is a good little trick, is in your Gantt chart, you go to the format tab, you put a check mark in project summary task. As soon as you do that, it takes the file name, creates task zero, so it doesn't ruin your top level report, and creates the summary for the project. With summaries, you can expand and collapse them by using the little arrows, or in previous versions, it was a plus and a minus sign. And they're a great way to outline your project, not to mention the fact we can create links from summaries to other summaries or milestones or other tasks, uh, but we'll talk about linking in the next video.